that if Iran refuses to negotiate an end to their nuclear weapons program, and President Obama therefore decides that a military strike against that program is necessary in the interest of our national security, then he can count on a strong bipartisan support in Congress for that decision. The fact is that it remains very much within our power and our allies' power to stop Iran from having nuclear weapons. By diplomatic and economic means, if we possibly can, by military means, if we absolutely must. I want to thank uh, Senators Lieberman, Grant, and Casey for leading this effort and for all of my colleagues who are supporting this very important resolution. This really does demonstrate that there is a bipartisan commitment in the United States Senate to ensuring that Iran does not obtain a nuclear weapon. And uh, this morning in the Armed Services Committee, I had the chance to question Director Clapper and General Burgess. And when you think of the litany of things that Iran has done, they support the terrorist organization Hezbollah. Iran supports the terrorist organization Hamas. Iran has been providing arms to the insurgents in Afghanistan to kill our troops. They've been doing the same in uh, Iraq and putting us in a position of undermining all of the security gains we've met there. We've, we've hard fought security gains that our troops uh, fought and died for there. And Director Clapper said very clearly to me this morning that Iran represented a grave threat to our national security. Not only that, but a grave threat to the national security of our allies. What we are saying on a bipartisan basis is we are not going to sit aside and allow a great threat to our national security, to the security of the United States of America, uh, to just be in a position where we are very, very clear. We won't let it happen. And certainly, if it takes military force, uh, that needs to be an option on the table. And we are absolutely committed on, an op on a bipartisan basis to addressing this national security threat to our country and to our allies. And we will stand together on this issue on behalf of our country and make sure that we're protected, Americans are protected, and our allies, obviously Israel, but other allies around the world. Thank you.